Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 29th, 2021. Well, hey, we had another day. Those bulls just pushing relentlessly to the upside. No regard for volume whatsoever. No regard for valuations. We just wanted to move higher. And they got her done. So yesterday we actually clipped a new record in the SPY, but they were unable to hold that into the close, creating just maybe just a little bit of uncertainty in some of the charts. So what does that mean for today? Well. How about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Hey, um, just a reminder, guys, I want to let you know that I will not be around on Thursday or Friday taking some extra holiday time off. And as a matter of fact, one of the things that um, uh, today is my anniversary. We have been married 37 years and um, so we are um, going to be taking off um, this evening and spending a little time um together um how she's put up with me being such a nut on the market for so long um your guess is as good as mine but um she deserves a little bit of celebration so we're gonna do that um tonight and um then i won't be back until after the first of the year so with that said let's take a look at these indexes and see if we can take a um well take a guess about how we might want to approach the market for today first off if you take a look we had that little bit of a pullback um yesterday in that in that candle but boy by the end of the day the bulls push back in pushing it back up so no technical damage here in the chart as we push through that resistance in the chart we did not push back down um pushing down through that level of support in the chart. So we held up in there. But one thing I do think is interesting is if I were to draw a line right across here, is that we tried really hard to tick out there to a new record high on the Dow and just didn't quite get it done. We, we pushed and pushed and pushed, but they just couldn't quite get it done. But once again, we held this support by the close so no harm no foul and what you have to do is look at this chart and say hey the bulls are in control and they are relentless it, volume is tremendously weak but we don't care um there seems to be a a considerable move here by institutions just to continue the melt to the upside to get those new records trying to attract more money to the market so watch that carefully in case we do stumble there's new news today on omicron and there's a little bit more weight starting to come on that and if that were to bring out the bears just look there is no price support under a lot of this and we could fall substantially particularly dropping right back into here if we slip below this level um, there could be a substantial decline that could be rather painful so kind of keep that in mind and then take a look at the spy SPY pushed up and we didn't break back down below that support level so if we get a pullback here in the market today don't know that it would be any a big worry unless we break down through that level and then we would be seeking the next level lower here in that chart so spy continuing to hold up really stubbornly very very strong this has just been an extraordinary run to the upside and i want to point out here again look at how anemic volume is um volume tremendously anemic um, on the move, not uh, not what you would expect to see in such a big pump up to the upside. And then if we take a look at the Qs, QQQ, another uh, performance here in the QQQ that maybe raises eyebrows just a little bit and go, yeah, just that little bit of hesitation uh, possibly coming in. Notice that we pushed right up in here and we tried to reach up there and challenged that um, a reversal pattern in the chart uh, back over here in November, but we didn't quite make it there. And then we saw some selling come in. But the good news on that is although we did see some selling, they didn't break this level of price support. They didn't push us down and they didn't actually put in a dark cloud cover where this candle 
um, push down lower than half of that big bullish candle. So you still got to give that up to the bulls. They're holding in there pretty strong. So any rest or pullback here in the market, if those bulls or bears do eventually show up here, um, watch this level right here. It will be very important that we hold. If this does not hold as support, that next level of support is substantially lower and that could be a rather painful pullback if um, that were to occur. So watch carefully for that. And then let's take a look at IWM. IWM left behind probably the most ominous of candle patterns um, of the indexes yesterday. And that's as it pushed up here and tested this resistance in the chart and almost to the tick. Um, tested that resistance in the chart and then pulled back in a shooting star pattern. Now the shooting star pattern doesn't really mean anything. It's kind of like a um, a hammer pattern that requires a follow through. So if this were to have a follow through down to, um, today, that would be a little bit of a problem here for the market and potentially show us some risk here. So watch that carefully. And Russell is the weakest of the indexes right now. And as a matter of fact, um, to give you guys um, a, a clue at how I'm feeling about the market, I actually picked up some put options on IWM. Now they're out to March, so I have plenty of time on these, but I do believe the market is set itself for a pullback here in the very near future. So picked up some put options on the Russell to hedge um, overall trades. And I also picked up and nibbled on a few diamonds puts as well. Um, yesterday. So not trying to influence your decision on trading here at all. In fact, don't blindly follow this because I may be off in timing on this. We could still continue to melt up for the next couple of days here in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. Interestingly enough, the VIX held on to a white candle most of the day until right at the very end, in the last five minutes of the day. Um, the institutional push in that dark pool activity pushed us back down to a dark candle on the day. So we did slip just a tiny little bit lower here in the VIX. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that, but we're still holding some levels of price support in here in that chart. Notice right in here, kind of holding around those price support levels, and we'll want to watch that carefully. Well, albeit we, we have this downtrend in place, the bulls are definitely in control, but we are in that place um, uh, where we, uh, we have stretched pretty far. We can't rule out the possibility that those bears will make an appearance and bounce us up off of that area here in the chart. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our T2122. T2122 yesterday gave us some pretty good clues and it was one of the clues that um, um, caused me to take on some put trades, which are actually, um, you know, nicely bullish into the close of yesterday. But um, keep an eye on this. What we did yesterday is we pushed up here into this bearish reversal zone here on T2122 and then started to stumble just a little bit. So we ended up pulling back to just below um, that bearish reversal zone, which does, if we can find reason for inspiration, there is that possibility that we could extend back up. And, you know, this melt up has been pretty remarkable. Now, one of the things that I do want to point out is that um, Asian markets closed mostly lower overnight. Um, they are worried about um, the details coming out in the pandemic. Europe is mostly lower this morning. Only here in the U.S. are we continue to pump, 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 and it pump, and it's relentless in the market. So there's no reason to believe why they can't keep that pump going and push us back up here again into that bearish reversal zone um, on the day if they can find some reason for bullishness. But the other thing I want to point out here in this chart is uh, remember T2122 doesn't tell us the direction of the market; it just tells us where those. Uh, pressure points are and certainly we're up here in that bearish side of the market and if those bears were to engage if we find a reason to stumble at all 
we've opened a big open hole here to the downside with not a whole lot of price support in those index charts and a lot of gaps um, as well that could be filled if we start to fall. So just kind of keep that in mind and remember um, as we head into the end of the year, it may be a wise thing to just take some profits, take some risk off the table um, um, and bank that away uh, because we're probably going to see volumes continue to decline. In fact, maybe even accelerate in their decline heading into this holiday. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, T2108 saw an improvement yesterday, but it wasn't, you know, substantial. Remember, we tried to set a new record high yesterday, and we did that with 40% of our stocks, 40% of our stocks above the 40-day moving average. We continue to set lower highs in this, fewer and fewer stocks maintaining this market elevation. So just keep that in mind. It seems kind of odd to me that we continue to be able to do that with select stocks, but watch that carefully. And then our T2107, similar situation we saw an improvement in that yesterday but 42 percent of our stocks are above their 200 day moving average that leaves a great big number of stocks below that 200 day that still need to recover a bunch and let's take note that there is a substantial overall price resistance here in that chart along with the downtrend so as we approach back up here we're going to want to watch that pretty closely that could be that place where we could see a little bit more selling maybe coming into the market. So watch that carefully. Our T2101, T2101, interestingly enough yesterday with, um, as I've mentioned before, we typically get T2101 to rally when there was bearish activity and we had a little bit of bearish activity in there. So we have at least at this point successfully held this downtrend break in market breadth and held this support area and we caught a bounce yesterday. If those bears were to come in today and start pushing or follow through um, on that little stumble yesterday, then we could see T21, that breadth increase here in the market and that could signal a little trouble here. Now, if they can gain control of that, if those bulls can continue to hold on here and gain control in this low volume environment, pushing this back down below this level, then we still have that opportunity that we could wind around in here building this wedge. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar's got just a little bit going on here today. Um, we'll want to pay attention to this. You know, one of the things um, that has been truly remarkable this year is our international trade in goods. Our trade deficit is horrible and we don't care. We do not care. And they're expecting it to actually increase today. But I doubt we get a whole lot of market reaction out of that. So keep a close eye on it. Then we're going to have our pending home sales here tomorrow, or excuse me, today, pending home sales. We'll want to watch that um, today. They're looking for that to kind of stay in their flat, holding up pretty well. And then um, we've got petroleum status here on the day. Um, might be worth noting, we've got some bond auctions. Bonds have been moving around here just a little bit. We've got a little currency fluctuation with the Turkish Lyric declining pretty sharply here this morning. So keep a close eye on that, but they're holding in here pretty good. Um, so watch that. Now keep in mind, I'm not around um, the next couple of days, so make sure you're planning forward. You've got jobless claims, Chicago PMI, and um, well, nobody cares about that gas. And we certainly don't care at the eight and three quarter trillion dollars debt that the central bank is in. We don't care about that. So nothing to worry about there. And then keep in mind um, um, on the Thursday calendar, earnings calendar, at least at this point, guys, there are no confirmed reports, earnings reports for Thursday. And um, there is nothing confirmed for Friday as well. However, today we do have one confirmed report um, on that earnings calendar and that is F-Cell. 
they will be reporting today. It looks like they have disappointed here just a bit and breaking some support here in this chart in the downtrend. So fuel cell um, looking a little bit um, ugly here at the moment in the pre-market. So watch that closely. But, you know, not exactly one of those stocks that moves the market tremendously. So not a big worry there. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be worthy to be helpful as you plan your day if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that continues to help the channel grow and thank you so much everyone who does do that I truly truly appreciate it you know, um, the purpose of these videos is, is not to provide any hype. It's not to provide any prediction uh, for the market. It's to look at the technicals and take a look and see where those pressure points are and help you identify those places that could affect you during the day. And I never in my wildest dreams would have expected um, without all of the hype and pump up and, and, and a prediction that we see in other places in the market, just never really thought this would have taken off. And I'm just truly appreciative of everyone who does support this kind of content. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a quick look at um, the stock setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you have to do your own due diligence in these charts and make sure you understand the risk of every single trade never ever ever blindly someone blindly follow someone else's trade idea let's take a look here guys i, I want to point out a bunch of stocks in um, the defensive sector area consumer defensive sector um, um, Philip Morris potentially setting up here looking good. I placed a price alert on that chart. We also see um, Altria trying to push up yesterday. We saw um, KHC, um, Kraft Heinz pushing up yesterday, Mondelez uh, pushing up yesterday. We saw a lot of defensive sector stocks pushing up. Now what that tells me guys is when we're seeing that consumer defensive area perk up and show so much strength. I mean, even boring stocks like Colgate Palmolive, uh, CLX made a little bit of a move. How about um, GIS, um, General Mills? Boy, they don't get more boring than that. Um, all perking up yesterday. Those are um, hints that there is a rotation, an institutional rotation into quality stocks or safety. Um, stocks in the market so you want to take note of that and be really really careful is it possible that this melt up on such low volume is nothing more than a bull trap maybe but i want you to take note that there is a lot of energy starting to pour into defensive sector and it may be worth keeping an eye on that i also saw some moves here recently that are interesting um, Silver made a little bit of a move to the upside. We're getting a pullback here today, but you wouldn't typically see precious metals and things moving up like this in a um, what supposedly be supposedly is a no-brainer Santa Claus rally. Everything's great. Um, bye bye bye. So a little bit of concern here on that. We're also seeing GLD um, made that move um, to the upside here. Now it's getting punished here this morning. But keep an eye on some of those. Some interesting um, things occurring here in the market that just gives me that little hint or that flavor there may not be um there may be a little trouble in paradise is what i'm saying here so just keep a close eye on it and be prepared in case we do see the reemergence of those bears um, in the next few days. Let's take a look at some other stocks here. Take a look at Visa. Visa setting up here pretty nicely. I like the way this pattern is played out. We have an inverted head and shoulders pattern here in this chart, pressing into that neckline and trying to pop through. So watch this on this trend. A little bit more rest in here, and this may be ready to take off to the upside. Now we do have to consider 
consider that there is some considerable um, resistance here in this chart for that to push up but we are seeing a little bit of bullishness coming back into some of these um, consumer um, consumer plays um, trying to uh, perk up here just a little bit you might also want to take a look at some um, some stocks that are um, in the consumer staples um, area take a look at xly or excuse me consumer discretionary they've been picking up here pretty nicely and pushing up into some resistance in the chart and those are going to be the stocks that we all know you know the dollar generals that breaking through here yesterday trying to show some um, nice support to the upside we're seeing things like best buy trying to come up out of the bottom we're seeing you know dhi horton um, restaurants doing pretty well um, so you know nike trying to hang in here and push up gps trying to come up off a of bottom so there's all of these stocks down here in this area trying to come up and push up here just a little bit might be worth keeping an eye on some of those and then of course the consumer staples um, xly take a look or, excuse me xlp take a look at xlp and the strength of xlp here i would keep a close eye on some of these stocks like hershey um, estee lauder kroger campbell soup had a big move yesterday um, con agra looking really good take a look at hormel these are stocks and some of those consumer defensive stocks that are really perking up and looking good so there's lots of opportunities in those trades and the last place i want to mention is energy take a look at um or i mean utilities take a look at xlu xlu breaking back through this resistance here in the chart this is not something you would expect to see in an all bull market that everything is great we're seeing um, trades um, rotate into those dividend paying safety plays so kind of keep that in mind take a look at some of the stocks in this sector aee pushing up we've got lnt pushing up wec pushing up aep pushing up and as you go down through this list nee beautiful upside trend staying strong there are a lot of stocks in this utility sector showing tremendous strength to the upside so watch that carefully as we continue to push up in these sectors if you're looking for some play that gives you a nice dividend yield and some safety might want to take a look at some of these utility plays so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading and more importantly i want to wish you all a fantastic couple of days while i'm gone um celebrating um anniversary and also also a very happy new year to you and your family i truly truly appreciate all you've done for me this year supporting the channel thank you so much i really really appreciate it everyone take care have an awesome holiday we'll see you right back here after the first of the year i wish you all the best